Hello, good morning friends. Today we will just discuss about the SR flip flop. Okay, flip flop means the sequential circuits. Sequential circuits are always having a memory element. That is, it is having already the stored value in a bit form. That is, it might be zero or one. Okay, the basic SR flip flop is being designed by using two NOR gate. So we'll just go through the NOR gate, the basic truth table of your NOR gate. So this one is the NOR gate truth table. When it is zero zero, that is zero plus zero, it should be zero. Since it is a NOR gate, so it is having a one. So this one is your formal truth table of your NOR gate. So from this truth table, we can just go through one statement. What it is that if any one of the input is one, if any one of the input is one, the outputs are zero. Okay. So this is the statement. What we can write it from your NOR gate. That is, if any one of the input is one, the output is zero. So depending upon this, we'll just try to go for your SR flip flop. Okay. So this one is the block diagram of your SR flip flop. Block diagram of your SR flip flop, or sometimes it is also known as a R. Yes, okay, it is left to you. So how you'll be just taking it. So you just consider for your R and S and always the flip flop will be having two outputs Q and Q bar. Q is your output and Q bar is the complement of Q. So already this you people know it. So obviously always the flip flop will be having two outputs Q and Q bar. So this one is the structure of your SR flip flop using NOR gate. So two NOR gates you have taken G1 and G2. So R and S have the inputs are been acting. The two remaining true inputs, okay, are been shortened from the output. That is the G2 is been acting as one input from the output as a G1. In the same fashion, the output of G2 is acting as an input to a G1. Okay, so these are the two outputs Q and so this one is the internal structure of your R and S flip flops. Okay, now we'll just go through how exactly the truth table arrives. Okay, from this R and S. Okay, so this one is the truth table of your SR flip flop. Okay, now this one is your zero zero means it's a previous state. Previous state means it is having whatever the value it will be stored previously that value will be just getting so you can tell it as a previous value or no change value okay next for 0 1 0 1 obviously the output will be 1 means whatever the s value will be having the same will be having it as the output so this one is known as your set and for 1 0 it is 0 that one is your reset and 1 1 means forbidden state means it will not be in a 0 state or in a 1 state so it is known as the forbidden state okay so this we'll just cross check all the cases for first case second case third case as well as the fourth case okay how exactly the output will be just coming from this structure okay the first state or the first case when it is zero zero okay in this when the case is zero zero what will happen <coughs> okay so we'll just consider the SR flip flop so R is also 0 and S is also 0 but the NOR gate root table what does it say if any one of the input is 1 the output is 0 but here both the states are 0 0 okay so now what we'll do is we'll just consider the flip flops statement that is it is having a memory unit so while what we'll do is we'll assume the value as Q is equal to 0 and Q bar is equal to 1 so obviously so if q is equal to 0 q bar is equal to 1 so that is r is equal to s r is equal to 0 sorry r is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 so we'll use the first condition that q is equal to 0 and q bar is equal to 1 okay now the output of g2 will be what now so see q is equal to 0 so both s and q will be what 0 0 so what the truth table of the 0 0 means the output is one. So whatever the assumed value, so Q bar is one. So what it is correct now? Q bar is one means this. So this one is acting as the input with R is equal and Q bar is one. So zero one means the object output is zero. So whatever the assumed value was what Q is equal to zero and Q bar is equal to one. So it is having the same state what we people have assumed. So you can just consider it as what. 
so q is equal to 0 and q bar is equal to 1 so whatever the previously stored value was the same output we are getting for that is for 0 0 it is having a previously stored value now once again what will cross check is when r is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0 what are assumed value that is so initially what you assumed is q is equal to 0 and q bar is equal to 1 now it will change q is equal to 1 and q bar is equal to 0 when q is equal to 1 so the output of a g2 will be what so when g is 1 and s is equal to 0 so what the statement is if any one of the input is 1 the output is 0 so depending upon this what we assumed value was so q is equal to 1 means the output is q bar is 0 now both when r and s is equal to 0 0 q is equal to 1 that is the truth table of nor gate so whatever the assumed value was q is equal to 1 and is equal to 1 and q bar is equal to 0 is same that is of a previous value that is of a no change value so what we can tell is that so when both the inputs are 0 0 so it is in a previous state or in a no change state okay now the second condition will just cross check okay case 2 that is when r is equal to 0 and s is equal to 1 okay so when r is equal to 1 and sorry when r is equal to 0 and s is equal to 1 when I, if r is equal to 0 and s is equal to 1 so in any one of the input is 1 the output of the nor gate is what it is 0 so it q bar is 0 next r is equal to 0 0 0 means it is 1 so the q value will be what it will be 1 ok so when r is equal to 0 and s is equal to 1 the output of a value is 1 that is the set value ok in the same fashion when r is equal to 1 and s is equal to 0 if r is equal to 1 if r is equal to 1 the output of this value will be what here it is 0 ok so for this 0 0 it will be 1 so if q is equal to 0, 1, uh, 0 means it is a reset value ok so what you are getting is in a state next when both the states is in a 1 1 condition ok see here case 2 is what here when r is equal to 0 s is equal to 1 from the table means the output of a g2 will be 0 and both inputs of g1 will be so output of g1 will be hence when, hence when r is equal to 0 s is equal to 1 q is equal to 1 q bar flip flop is set to be set in the same fashion in case 3 means when r is equal to 1 s is equal to 0 q is equal to 0 and q bar is equal to 1 flip flop is set to be reset that is the output of q is equal to 0 ok next next the fourth case that is when it is 1 1 ok now when it is 1 1 both the inputs are 1 1 so what is the true table of a nor gate state whether if any one of the input is 1 the output is 0 so here the q is also 0 and q bar is also 0 ok so but obviously what should be getting if q is equal to 0 q bar should be 1 so since both the input outputs are 0 0 we will be telling it as the it is in a forbidden state ok it is in a forbidden state ok so this one is the basic structure of your SR flip flop by using the NOR gate and these are the four cases when it is for 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 ok so from this two table what we can obviously or uh, what we can declare is that so whatever the s value for 0 0 obviously it is in a previous state that is a no change state or we can tell mention it as directly it as a q for 0 1 it is means whatever the s value will be having the same value will be mentioning it as the output if s is equal to 1 the output is 1 that is set if s is equal to 0 the output is 0 that is the reset that both the inputs are 1 1 so it is in a forbidden state now we will discuss s of flip flop using NAND gate ok that is the conversion of NOR gate to a NAND gate so here is the term coming that is the bubble pushing that is so when it is been bubble pushed so the bubble when it is bubbled pushed so the OR gate is converted into a AND gate and the two bubbles will be there in the same fashion when NAND gate when that bubble will be pushed it is converted into a R gate with the two bubbles ok now just check the conversions of your SR flip top of NOR gate to a NAND gate so this one is the initial structure of your NOR gate so what we have just cross checked previously so when R is equal to 0 and so when R and S the two outputs are being fed back as a input ok so now see here when it has been bubbled pushed ok in the second state so it is converted into AND gate and the two bubbles are being 
there okay just the bubble bag this bubble has been pushed back so the nor gate is converted into and get in the second state okay now in the third state what it is happening is so what we, what we have done is this bubble we have just pushed from here to here in the third step that is from this bubble is been pushed back to this bubble getting in the same passion this bubble is been pushed back to this one okay and now this bubble is been removed by what mentioning in the poster that it is been r bar so r is equal to 0 means the bubble is there it should be 1 so what we are doing is so we have just removed the bubble and we have mentioned it as r and r bar and s bar okay so this one is the normal conversion of your nor gate to this one okay so this one is the figure of your s uh, s of pop using the nand gate that is r bar s bar okay now the truth table varies a little bit okay so this one is for your just for the better understanding so we have taken it as so previously what it was mentioned it as r and s now it is been mentioned it as r bar and zero r bar and s bar okay so when it is zero zero it is in a forbidden state okay it is in a forbidden state because r bar is zero and s bar is zero okay since r bar is zero what will the input here it will be one and it will be so it will be in a forbidden state so when it is in zero one so it is zero and one zero it is one and one one it is nothing so it is exactly opposite of your previously sr flip by using the nor gate truth table okay so this one is exactly opposite of the thing so s bar whatever the s bar if it is 1 it will be 0 and when it is 0 it will be 1 okay so this one is the major condition to avoid this one so this exactly the normal truth table of sf prop is what when it is 0 0 it is previously store value when it is 0 1 it is 1 that is set value and when it is 1 0 it is 0 and 1 1 so this one is the standard truth table to come to this state so what we have done is we have just and added up another and gate so to remove this r gate we have just converted one inverter by using the nand gate so the input will be what here r so it will be the output will be r bar okay so just that is we are converted to by using the nand gate as a acting as a inverter okay so this one is the normal structure of your this are flipper by using the nand gate okay so this one is acting no r means and s so it is just acting as your previously the truth table that is when it is zero zero it is no change when it is zero one it is one one zero it is zero and one one it is forbidden state it is same as your previously nor gate so if we just draw this one so this is also correct and this is also right but to get the same truth table as we have got taken it in a nor gate so this is the structure what it should be considered okay okay now we will just go through your gated or clocked sr paper by using the nand gates okay so the stream structure what we have just considered previously so s and r the two outputs the inputs have been mentioned with the clock or by using the enable okay if they mentioned by gated means so you'll we'll just consider it as a enable line if it is a clock means we'll just give a clock input okay so this one is the basic structure of your gated or a clock sr input so this one is same as your previously thing only the clock is been so there we have taken it as separate inputs now we are just considered for your previously values okay so this is the structure what it was r bar and s bar so we are just removed by using the giving the connection the two inputs have been connected and given is the clock or the enable line okay and the two table will be the same that is so this one is the mention it as clock or we can mention it as the enable line if enable line means we can just mention it as 
one so since it is a clock and we are just mentioning it as a rising edge clock if the arrow mark is above so it is acting as a rising edge clock so this will be explained by using your waveforms okay so this one is the clock and these are the normal two table s is equal to zero zero no chain and one zero one one that is zero zero no chain zero one reset one zero one means whatever the s value will be that value will be just consider okay this is just one is just to make the to avoid the confusion if the same thing was mentioned it as rs so it would be what zero zero it would have been no change r zero one means it would have been one and zero one one zero means it would have been zero if it is the change to r and s okay now it is what zero zero means you can just imagine that so whatever the set value means s value will be the, that will be the same value if it is zero it is zero if it is one so it is one one and it is a forbidden state condition that is for one one now you'll just consider through the waveforms of your sr flip flop okay so this one is the normal continuous clock first clock second clock third clock four, and it will be in a continuous machine okay so this one narrow mark means so this one is acting as a regime means whatever the changes of the input will be happening and this will be happening at this state only that one is your rising edge clock and some, some of the textbooks they will mention it as the falling edge okay so that it is left to you so then it is rising edge clock we are just mentioning the s value something zero one and all those stuff and r value is one zero now at the rising edge clock we'll just cross check what is the value of s and one see at the rising edge clock s is equal to zero and r value is one okay so zero one means obviously it is in a zero value the output value is q is one so this output will be in a pre means whatever might be the input here it will be until what until the next rising clock the output will be same that it is zero okay at this rising edge clock the next s is one and r is equal to zero so the output is what rising edge if s is equal to one means the obviously the output should be one that is the set value so it has been rising okay so this is continued until what the next rising edge that is the third clock plus rising edge so here the output is, input is zero zero s is equal to zero and r is equal to zero so what it is mentioned when both the inputs are zero zero it should be in a previous state or in a no state state so this output has been considered one and it has been in a continuous passion until what during the next rising clock next what it is zero one so once again this one is for the falling edge is taking place because s value is zero so here it is getting the value as zero okay next what is the forbidden state so that is during the next clock when s is equal to one and r is equal to one so it will mean a zero one zero one means it will mention it as a forbidden state okay so it is just considered for your so this one is the waveform and it is no way mentioned that it should be initially started with the zero and one so it is left to you but during we should consider only at the whether it should be rising edge clock or the falling edge clock so in this two table we have mentioned it as a rising edge clock so it is just considered for the rising edge whatever and the output at what is happening at the rising edge or if the inputs are changing at that point only at the output okay so in 0 1 it is 0 that is reset for 1 0 it is one set so once again it is 0 0 means the output of 1 is been followed if it was 0 the output have been followed by this so for 1 1 set it is in a forbidden store so this one is your waveforms of your sr